Hi everyone, this is Bharati. Today our topic is writing to a different frame. In this topic, we will learn how can we divide a window into different frames and how can we display data from another frame that is taking input from the user in one frame and displaying it in another frame. So how to do that we will learn today. Let's start the class. Writing to a different frame. You can also use the document.write method to send dynamically created content to another frame in a frame set or to another browser window previously opened by a script in the same page. So we can use the content to write from one frame to another frame or one page to another page dynamically we can use the method document.write and in this case you are not restricted to only one call to document.write per page so there are no restrictions to use the document.write only once per a page you can use as many times as you require in that document you can open an output stream to another frame or window and keep dumping stuff into it until you close the stream with document or close. Means whenever we are writing the data from one page to another page, after writing that data to other page, we need to close that document object. Today we will see a sample program for a different frame, writing to a different frame. It is a simple program. Let's write the program. This is our example program. In this we have two frames. The window is divided into two frames. One in one frame we are displaying some links and another frame is empty. So whenever we are clicking the date links on the first frame, it is showing the output on the second frame. So page 1 this text belongs to page 1 dot html. So page 2 this text belongs to page 2 dot html. Like this whenever we clicking on the links on the one frame and it is showing the output on the other frame. So how to write the program for this we will write now. As we are displaying two links that means two web pages. So first we write the code for those two web pages html body type and this i'm writing the heading one tag head one h1 and this here this is the text from page 1. So in this we are giving this text closing close h1 close body tag Close HTML tag. Save this program. Save on desktop. So in this desktop, this is the page one dot HTML. Save. Next, I want to write another web page. So, same like phase1.html, so copy this one and paste here, this is the phase2 text, save this, as page2.html. Now we have to create the links for this. 
two pages. So I am writing HTML body tag within the body. I want to give a link. So anchor tag a h reference is equal to page one dot html and target equal to frame two and here the text for this link is page one close the anchor tag as we are we have to display these two pages that is what we have created now page one dot and page one dot html and page two dot html we need to create the links for those two pages and we need to display those in the frame so copy this thing and paste it here so creating another link for page two and target is also same frame two here the text is page two close the body tag close the html tag what we have done here we are creating links for the two pages what we have created previously and now saving this program save links.html save next we have to write another program for creating frames to a web, web page so here HTML within the HTML I want to write it as we are creating frames so frame set in this frame set we have to mention how many columns are how many rows so here I am defining two columns with percentage 80 per 20 percentage is the first frame and remaining 80 percent for second frame enter now in this frame set we have to create frames frames in this frame what we want to display we have to mention in the source attribute so src is equal to you i want to display my links dot html page in this frame so links dot html i want to display in this frame I am giving the name for this frame as frame 1 and I have to create another frame to display the output of these pages in another frame and creating second frame source I don't want to give any source here just 
displaying the data from the first frame. So I am leaving here as empty this source and name for this frame is frame 2. This is our frame set. So close the frame set and close the HTML. Save this one. As frame set frame set dot html save so what what we have done here we have created two pages with some text page one dot html and page two dot html then we have created two links for these two pages in a separate page and where they have to display we have mentioned in that link only as a target attribute and we have created one more program to divide the page into two frames so here we used frame set tag and we created two frames and here in first frame we have display we have given as the source links.html program so in first frame that is first 20% of the web page the links.html page will be displayed the links.html page contains two links with the phase 1 and phase 2 so and second frame we didn't mention anything so it is empty as it is taking output from the links.html it will display here and we have given the name as frame 2. So let us execute this program. So these are the programs, HTML programs we have written now. We need to execute only this frame set because we are displaying, we are dividing the page to two pages and displaying the two frames with the help of links.html. So by clicking that this is the output so here we have two frames one is with 20 percent and another frame is with 80 percent as we gave as in frame one with these two links as a source so here it displayed two links page one and page two so let's see what happened if we click these links page 1 so this is the text from page 1 so here when we are clicking the page 1 link from the frame 1 it is displaying the output in another frame the same with the page 2 okay this is the program to writing into a different frame these are the books you have to refer. Thank you.